Hi, my name is Yasser, and today we're at Brick Fair, and here is my um, Northrop F5N Tiger mock. Very impressive. I love what you've done with the colors here. So, if you want to start off by talking about kind of the camouflage pattern on it. Uh huh. Okay, so this aircraft was used by the um, U.S. Navy for training aircraft. Uh, so basically what they did was they painted this American plane like as if it was a Russian plane so that's why there's the camo there because this is um, painted to represent a Russian plane for training exercises. Okay. Yeah. And when you're working on a build like this, kind of a historical build, what do you use as source material, photos, or how does that work? Well definitely I use photos of the real life airplane so that I can get the color scheme right and I also get um, the three view blueprints. So that, uh, and then I scale it down so I know exactly how big it has to be. So I try to be very accurate with that and I try to do a lot of planning with that, so yeah. Yeah, so what's the structure like in this kind of, where do you start building from? Well, uh, for this model specifically, it all started with the nose because I felt like the nose was a very difficult part. I had to get right because it was very like uh, iconic. It was very like important. Uh, yeah, so that's basically how it started. And then I guess it just goes from the front to the back. I just uh, like, start building the front and then I start building the section after it because it's, it's a modular plane so yeah it comes off in sections so I build the front sections first and then the back sections yeah you've even got got some almost mini land scale uh, figures there as well yeah definitely this is actually the exact same scale as the mini land builds it's 1 to 18 scale so that's the okay. same yeah gotcha. yeah so it, it fits in perfectly with that scale there that's that's really nice what's the hardest part about doing a build like this for you kind of capturing all those details and everything well, um, I believe that the hardest part is kind of um, being able to source the right parts and the right color because definitely when it comes to Lego, um, color schemes are very like uh, decisive in how what kind of curves you can do because you know uh, they only make some like parts in some colors, so you know that's probably the hardest part. There's some working features on this model as well because I felt that that was very important at this scale to incorporate. So basically, as you can see, the cockpit's open right now. It can uh, it can be closed with a special mechanism, and then you can obviously re oh well it came off but <laughs> okay uh, there's a light inside there it is that's the light okay. and yeah yeah very cool so it kind of gives that light up screen effect there yeah exactly yep nice I like it thank you thank you.